Hi, my name is Garrett. I'm with Magneto Speed. And what we have here is our uh, flagship barrel mounted chronograph model. We call this our V3. This device straps onto the muzzle of a firearm, uh, typically a rifle or a long barrel revolver. And uh, what it does is when you fire the gun, the bullet travels over the sensor deck and it picks up the bullet velocity as it flies over. And what this allows it to do is, uh, is to track the bullet velocities from your hand loads or whatever. It sends it to this computer. And here we have one over here plugged in. As you can see, it gives you uh, your shot velocity and all your statistics. You can archive that to a uh, SD card right here, a micro SD card. And with an adapter, plug, plug that into your computer and download all the statistics. It's our V3 model, and that runs about... We also have our new addition, our Sporter. This is a more economical version. It has a little less feature set, but it has, still has a lot of functionality. Whereas the V3 can cover barrels up or diameters up to two inches, uh, which would include suppressors. Uh, this model can, is more for uh, what we call Sporter barrel rifles. Uh, so thinner, thinner barrels up to one inch diameter. It has a four uh, character display and a simplified control system, so you can tap through and get to your statistics. There's average, high, low, standard deviation, spread, etc. and you go through each shot. From there, you can compress and hold, and you have those kind of functionalities uh, in that model. Both models uh, coming now will, will be able to utilize this a new adapter called the XFR. And what the XFR does is uh, it'll allow this app, or let me clear the screen here, but it'll allow this app to sync with your device. So once you have shots on your device, you can plug this into your phone. Fingers are cold. Yeah, there you go. My fingers are too cold. Just transferring the data over, and now you have all your shots. You can delete a shot from here. You can then go to your settings. You can put in an email address, and it'll bring it up in an email and also give you the, the CSV file with it so you can save it on your computer. Also from here, you can uh, change the sensitivity of the device, and uh, whether it's in units or meters per second. Reconfigure the device. You can also clear the device from the app. So it kind of gives you that control back. The control is really intuitive and easy with the V3. You have a three button display. The center goes to menu, up, down, select. Here you can change sensitivity. You put it in normal mode. Custom mode, you can set a lot of different uh, sensitivity levels depending on what you're shooting. We go over that in our manual. Um, so I can set it to sensitivity five, which is an uh, amplified setting. Uh, so it's ready to go. So that control is, is inside the sporter model. To get to. We simplified it enough with a lot to reduce costs, but with the XFR, you can add that control back. So is this an additional accessory that comes with it? It's an additional accessory, yeah. So we don't, our thought is we don't make you buy it, yeah. so we can have the, the, the base price be a little lower. So Do you know what the MSRP is on this guy? It's about 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Okay. Uh, this guy's 189 a sporter. And what we also have new now is our uh, pick rail adapter. So this works only with our V3 model, our flagship model. Here you can see it mounted to a 1911. And anything with a pick rail, basically, or an SBR or a rifle, it's not adjustable at night. Kind of, it is what it is. But the V3 gives you enough uh, tolerance with the sensitivity settings that you can probably get it to work across the board. I guess we also have this soft case that we're at, just added as an accessory. Uh, it's a very simple uh, bag, basically, with a foam kit. Provides enough, a decent amount of protection, but it's a very lightweight. That was our thing. Lightweight and compact. It makes it easier to take to the range and get where else you want.